Let's Bet. I'm your host, Scott Pritchard. Let's Bet is about sports betting, sides, totals, money lines. I've been betting sports professionally full-time in Las Vegas for 30 years. I'm going to show you how I do it. Joining me, as always, the man who is recovering from Cinco de Mayo, Jacob Cannon. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, I'm not recovering from Cinco de Mayo. I'm starting a new holiday called Seis de Mayo. The party continues. <laughs> Based on our plays lately, maybe that's why we've fallen out of favor. We've been drinking too much. No comment. Let's recap last week before we get into this weekend's action. Jacob and I had an opinion on game one, round two, Celtics taking on the Miami Heat. Miami favored by five. Jacob and I liked the road dog. We both were wrong. Has that ever happened before, Jacob? No, no, never, <laughs> never in the chance of history. As I look through the history books right here, never. Nah, not us. We'll be checking back with Jacob a little bit later on in the show. To reach out to us, email us at letsbet at vegasvideonetwork.com. That's letsbet at vegasvideonetwork.com. Now let's get started. This weekend, round two, game three, Eastern Conference, Boston Celtics, hosting the Miami Heat. Boston favored by three. The total for this game is 182 and a half. Jacob, who do you like? I'm gonna go with El Blanco Caliente called the White Miami Heat plus the points. Let's recap that play. Always creative with your thinking when you give out a play. I love it. Jacob likes the Miami Heat plus the three points. Before we get to my play, let's take a look at how these two teams match up with one another. First, the Miami Heat. They won 58 games during the course of the regular season, 58-24 after starting 8-7. and seven. The big three gelling definitely at the right time. They've won six of their last seven games in the playoffs alone, and they've also won 50 of their last 67 contests. So Miami playing great basketball, timing is everything. The big three simply outstanding, Bosch, Wade, James. Let's talk about the Boston Celtics. They're at home, 56 Regular season wins, they swept the Knicks in four straight, but they're down 0-2. Obviously a must win for the Celtics. Having said that, they still have to win four of five to win this series. They certainly have their work cut out for them. The Celtics have been an under value team. And when I say under, I'm talking about the total. 44 of their 82 games during the season have gone under the closing total. During these two games against the Heat in the playoffs, they've struggled mightily offensively. They've been held to 90 and 91 points, only shooting 43%. Interestingly enough, if you take a look at how these two teams have played up to this point in the series, the Miami Heat, they've made more free throws than the Celtics have attempted, 53 to 40. Now the Celtics and Heat, they played six times or three and three. Celtics, they won three of four during the regular season, but they've lost the last three games against Miami. My play, I like the Celtics at home. I think they'll bounce back. The Wiley veterans will step up. I think the Boston Celtics will cover the three-point spread at home. So to recap, Jacob and myself, I'm with the, Heat, the, uh, the Celtics at home minus the three. Jacob, he's on the Miami Heat plus the three. There you have it, my selection for this week, the Boston Celtics minus the three points at home. Am I betting this game? No, here's why. As I mentioned before on the show, Two things to warrant me making a play. One, I have to have a strong opinion, and two, I have to have the best of it. While I have an opinion on the game, it's not a strong opinion. This game opened three a few days ago. Today, it's still three. What that tells me is I don't bet square numbers, meaning a number that's common everywhere. Now, if I'm laying three and I see it's going to three and a half, four, four and a half, I'm all over it. Believe me, I'll take my chances. I have a small opinion on the Celtics minus the three points. I'm just sharing this information, something you should be aware of as you step up to the bet window. This program is all about sharing good sports betting content. Please keep this in mind as we move forward. It's time now for tips and terminology. Let's address futures. A future bet has to do with placing a bet today based on a championship. For instance, NBA basketball championship will be determined by June 20th. The Las Vegas Hilton Sportsbook has posted future odds on the eight remaining teams. For instance, the Miami Heat, they're favored to win the NBA title. They're plus three to two, which is plus 150, meaning if you bet 1,000, you net 1,500. The Los Angeles Lakers and the Thunder of Oklahoma City, they're both dialed in at six to one. 
Boston Celtics 18 to 1, a team that got to the championship a year ago before losing in seven games to the LA Lakers. Dallas Mavericks are 9 to 2, which is plus 450. If you bet 1,000, you net 4,500. Chicago Bulls, best record of basketball, 7 to 2, plus 350. 1,000 nets you 3,500. Memphis Grizzlies are 20 to 1, and the Atlanta Hawks are 50 to 1. Is there value in betting futures? Usually not. I say this because uh, in defense of the Las Vegas Hilton Sportsbook, they're as reasonable as any sportsbook, but a bad bet is a bad bet is a bad bet. And I say this because if they offer the heat at plus 150, but you can bet the other side minus 140, that's reasonable. But they're being unreasonable. And most places are with future bets because they only offer one-sided action. Now, there is some value. I can remember years ago, the St. Louis Rams. In August, before the season started, 350 to 1. They won the Super Bowl. Kurt Warner, you might remember the name. So generally speaking, future bets are sucker plays, but it only takes one place, one time to post a bad number. So just keep these things in mind as you continue to bet at the sports books. That will wrap up this week's edition of Tips and Terminology. Time now to bring back the man who always has a bright future, Jacob Cannon. Well, <clears throat> I may not be great at telling the future as evidenced by my last week's pick, but I do know one thing for sure that's gonna happen in the future. Another beer. I like the way you think. Jacob and I are live every Friday, 11 o'clock Las Vegas time. To reach out to us, email us at letsbet at vegasvideonetwork.com. That's letsbet at vegasvideonetwork.com. My website is pritchardspicks.com. That's pritchardspicks.com. For Jacob Cannon, I'm Scott Pritchard. Good luck and goodbye. <laughs>